everyone. In this video, I would like to show the current state of JS Lisp programming environment. JS Lisp is a Lisp compiler targeting JavaScript, and JS Lisp IDE is implemented as a web application running inside a browser. The editor features syntax highlighting, automatic indentation, word completion, and documentation lookup. For example, moving the cursor right after the less than sign, I can see in the lower right corner the documentation for the function. I can also add a doc string to the Fibonacci function. And now, moving the cursor right after the Fibonacci name, I can get in the lower right corner the doc string. It's also possible to add code examples to the doc strings. In addition to being shown in the documentation area, they can also be used for testing. Here I'm getting a failure on the third case for the Fibonacci function because the computed value doesn't match the reference value in the documentation. By fixing the documentation, I can now run the test, getting zero failures. Just this by the can also access a local file system thanks to a server-side component that is implemented also in JSLisp and run under Node.js. Here I'm sending to the inferior Lisp the code for the Mandelbrot Fractal Explorer from the website. And I can run the inferior Lisp in a zoomed view so that all the area is available for uh, testing the program. I can also change the code while the program is running. So let's, for example, change the usage of the palette so that instead of being used the shades of blue, there will be shades of green. I have updated the function. And as you see now, the fractal is computed using a different color. Now let's see some examples from the uh, website. This is a chessboard and it's actually more than a chessboard because it also contains the logic for playing a game of chess. It's not a very strong opponent because uh, only uh, looks at one move, but can still provide some interesting game if you are a novice. The view can be bidimensional or three-dimensional. This is the Fractal Explorer we already saw before. The image computed is 512 pixel times 512 pixel with the 256 iteration for every pixel. This is a Conway's Game of Life implementation.
This is a Rubik's Cube implementation. Please note that all the 3D graphics in these demos are implemented just using a bidimensional canvas and the 3D computation is done in JSList. There is no WebGL. This is the last example, let's see a browser. It uses a uh, iframe uh, DOM node for the uh, page. And uh, I would like to show the source code for this browser. In those two lines, I'm importing the uh, GUI library and the layout library. GUI contains all the widgets that you have seen before, and uh, the layout library is uh, a code that takes care about uh, resizing and positioning automatically the widgets depending on the uh, available space. The first line creates the window. 0.75 means 75% uh, of the uh, available space for uh, the browser. And uh, this is the others bar, that is just an input field. This is the go button. The page, like I said before, is implemented using a simple iframe element. The go function just sets the source of the iframe element to the current content of the others. This is where the widgets are positioned and resized. The window uses a vertical layout structure for the root node with a certain border and spacing. The first 40 pixels are used for the others bar and the button, and the remaining part of the space is used for the page. Here I'm setting an under for the return key when pressed inside the address bar. And finally I'm showing the window centrally. As you see the widgets are moving and are sizing automatically depending on the space. Thanks for watching and see you next time.